thoughts. The 5th of October, 2010. Follow your heart. A good friend asked me about the changes that are happening at the moment and what spiritual practices I was employing. So I thought I would share my response. There are certainly some very strong energies around us at this time. Depending upon what our individual journey's requirements are, we will all experience these energies in different ways and to different degrees. For a lot of my friends, and myself included, there are people returning into our lives so that we may more fully understand past events. With these people will of course come lessons. So a strong potential to reach a point of personal vibrational harmony. There is a great preparation occurring. Where once I would have sat in silence connecting to the flow, my approach is now somewhat different. I'm very aware that there are a multitude of possible realities that await my activation or are merely waiting for me to arrive. I'm very aware of the other beings that are sharing our reality and that there are some very powerful revelations to come. I do feel a calling to re-enter the other dimensions and am very aware that there is a gathering happening in many other realities. A shift has already started in many of these realities and it is not a peaceful process for many realities. How I vibrate is very critical now, so my focus has been very much on maintaining a very strong sense of connection. Now for me it takes the form of connection to Mother Gaia, to feel my connection to all things and more importantly their connection to me. That means conscious intent, to listen and feel into what I need to be doing to maintain that feeling of connection at all times. It means playing my flutes and didge to Gaia, holding on to the feeling of connection and honouring all beings. As we each have a different path to walk and as each path is very special, it is critically important to listen to your heart and to follow it courageously. It would be easy to focus on the negative possibilities that abound at this moment, for they are numerous. I have no desire to change the world. It is perfect for what it was created for. So this is a long-winded way of saying, follow your heart. It will lead you unerringly along the pathway of your individual highest potential. Never focus on a perceived end result for you never reach the end. Love and peace.